Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me, as always, is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy, doing what Bob, Bob loves to do, and that's talk about literature. And we've got a bit of a left field book today. It's Essential TA, A Common Sense Psychology. It's by an Indian author called Aman Bonsal. And uh, we're talking off camera that he's, Aman's really focused on what may be called a classical school. Correct. That's right. And it's, uh, it's a very modern book. It was written in 2018. Um, so it's very new. And um, I bought this book, saw it on Amazon, as, you know, because I've reviewed most of the TA books. Um, and this was such an up-to-date book. And also um, from, it, from, from Mumbai, an Indian author. Um, so I, just, I thought I'd buy it. Um, because I expected uh, a, a up-to-date TA book, but actually I didn't get that. So it, it is a book which concentrates on what I've talked about before, uh, the classical school techniques, or if you like, the major ide ideas behind some of Burns' concepts. So that would be, you know, the idea of transaction analysis proper, ulterior communication, um, complementary communication and he talks about uh, communication from that point of view he talks about ego states PAC he talks about the functional model the structural model he talks about games rackets script script analysis um, discounting uh, and really stops there uh, or he talks about a few more other things but they're very much in the Bernian ideas in that decade 60 uh, to uh, 1970, talks about egograms, talks about games and Cartman's triangle. But you know, it's like picking a book up uh, from 1970, going back on the Bernian uh, techniques of that decade, full stop. Yeah, that's, I, think that's, I think that's an interesting perspective, isn't it? Because, you know, anybody who picked this book up, it's a new book may may consider that that is the whole of the canon of ta where yes. we know that after burn died there was you know the cathexis school the relational school there was um you know the the redecision school there's now been the relational term hagen hagen den and sills right. um so it just it really just focuses on that that very narrow slice of time of burning almost as, and as you said before that kind of cbt type view of, of, of Burns' work. Yeah, and in that sense, it's quite limited. And also, I was quite surprised when he added in or changed um, the classical Burns functional model. So the functional model, which is splitting the ego into five ego states, adult, nurturing parent, controlling parent, adult, adapted child, and free child. And Burns talks about it and the, the behaviours. Now, what this author does, he produces another model of ego states, um, split into five, but has different names. So uh, he has nurturing parent, but then he has things like, you know, firm parent and uh, other. It's a plagiarizer of that model, really. So it's an interesting model, but it's not Burns' model. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. Like it's yes, firm like parents. I, I just wonder if, if, it, if it's written maybe for an international audience yes. i wonder if there's something about maybe you know the translation it, it may have that's that's may have been translated and and maybe more um receptive to a, a different audience in their, yes. in their vocabulary yeah. oh that's a very good point uh he you know i think it probably was written to an international audience and in some ways when i read the the, the chapters on games and rackets and uh, subdued feelings and the classical TA ideas is quite refreshing in the sense that I'm not saying I've forgotten those ideas, but uh, you know some of the uh, <laughs> some of the emphasis of today, of course, is on relational school transference. I mean, he never talks about transference because Burn didn't talk about transference. Burn talked about inner awareness and outside awareness, so. He doesn't bring TA up to date at all, but he does concentrate quite exclusively because it's like 300, 250 pages, so it's quite a thick book, on these classical tenants. So you're quite worried where you started out. Um, the audience might just think that's the canon of TA. Mm. But of course it isn't. 
No, um, but I would imagine, you know, for someone who is just learning the model, maybe a student, someone starting out, just to get a real good grounding of the model, it might be a very, very useful book if we take into account the language in terms of the, uh, how, how the model's described. Yeah, confused a bit. Yes, it's a very accessible book, very, very accessible. Um, and it's very easy to understand. Uh, it's the sort of book that I'm going, uh, you're quite right, I'm on the aeroplane, I've got something to read, I'll buy something like this because it's probably in that sort of personal growth section. Um, and it's ideas on personality and communication, Burn had. It's very, very clear. So from that point of view, a student just wanting to know the canons or the basic features of Burns' ideas of transaction analysis, then it does the job. Yeah, and I think, I think the, the clue really is in the name of the book. It says that it's a common sense psychology. It doesn't use the word therapy, does it? No, no I think you're right. Nick. I, I never thought of it that way, around, but I'm sure you're right. Um, it doesn't talk about transference, doesn't talk about anything to do with therapy. It just goes through those basic uh, ideas of burn. So for, uh, for students who want to sort of like understand in an easier way, if you like, the canons of Burns' ideas, it's a fairly good book. Yes. It doesn't, bring, doesn't take TA at all into the 21st century. So there we go. So the book is... Essential TA, A Common Sense Psychology. It's by Aman Bonsal, who is an Indian author. Um, and by the sounds of it, it is a bit of a slice of time, a bit of a slice of history. It doesn't show the entire you know, sort of kind of development of TA, just a slice of it. And um, we're going to put a link in the comments bar below. You go downstairs, click on it, and you can inspect the book and see if it's for you. So as always, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you.